I've always wanted to try out a true free to play Destiny experience. It's all I've ever heard was Destiny is free to start, but not free to play. And that's completely wrong. And in this video, I'll show you why. But before I do, consider hitting that subscribe button as it truly helps me out a lot. When you start Destiny 2 for the first time, you wake up in the Cosmodrome, you then learn the basics, then you help Shaw Han find his guardian of friends. You eventually make your way to the tower where Zavala is there to greet you. And this is where the game essentially leaves you be. As I was checking around the destination screen, I noticed I needed PlayStation Plus to play certain activities. So I closed the game and brought PlayStation Plus, but when I logged back into Destiny 2, I was treated to a cutscene. Turned out the game decided to throw me straight into the first mission of Lightfall, which is rather bizarre as a new player wouldn't understand what's going on. But I decided to complete the mission as I wanted to see what the limit was before trying to make me buy Lightfall. You are able to complete the first mission of the campaign and then free roam around the Immuna as you see fit. That's the same for all other expansions. So that's Beyond Light, Shadowkeep and Witch Queen. But with Witch Queen, I was able to do the first two missions until I talked to Finch. We also get to unlock crafting for free, but more on that later in the video. Unfortunately, the seasons are the same. So season 20 and 21, you are able to complete the first week of the seasonal story, but can't do anything else after that. Not even the seasonal activities. So if you wanted to progress through the story, you'll have to cop up your hard earned cash but there's still plenty for you to do for free. The main thing I wanted to see is if you can actively hit power cap without paying a single dollar. And the short answer is yes, because you have everyone in the tower as Vanguard, Crucible, Gambit and Gunsmith all need you to complete eight bounties in each activity to unlock a powerful engram. Also, when you reach each main rank in those activities, you'll earn a powerful engram. And Hawthorne is to commend five people. Then you have complete three matches in Vanguard, Crucible and Gambit to unlock an exotic engram from each. And then theirs is the last activity they can do for free powerful. So plenty of opportunities for you to reach power cap for free. Now as a free to play player, is there any raids and dungeons that you can do for free? Yes, you have two raids and a dungeon for free. That's the Vault of Glass, the King's Fall, and the Prophecy Dungeon. And when it's their turn on the weekly rotation, you'll earn a Pinnacle Engram upon completion. To top it off, all King's Fall weapons are craftable as well, so we'll give you something to chase. For exotic armor, unfortunately, I think you are only able to earn the Red War exotic armor and weapons, as for some reason, the Legend Lost Sector doesn't say it rewards an exotic engram upon completion. Either I'm too low leveled for it to tell me, or you have to buy an expansion. The Lost Sector was on the moon after all. But the Vex Strike Force does say it drops an exotic engram, but the issue with them is they spawn like once every two years, so good luck trying to find one. You can use the Crafter as a free to play player and can craft some pretty good guns. If you can find them, that is. Unfortunately, a lot of these old seasonal guns have just been thrown into the world loophole, so grabbing one will be a bit of a hassle. But regardless, always make sure to check out Banshee in the tower as he may have the gun you want. And also Zer on the weekend for your exotics, weapons and armor. Because at the end of the day, as long as you have the role you want of that weapon, you don't exactly need it crafted. Another great thing you can do as a free to play player in Destiny 2 is build craft. That's right, you can build craft as a free to play player, but you will be limited to which exotics you can use. You earn all armor mods needed while working towards Guardian rank 6. You also unlock loadouts so you can have separate builds for your arc, solar and void. You just need to hand over your hard earned money to Bungie if you want to expand your build exotics. If you've been playing Destiny for free and you like it, but unsure what DLC to buy first, well, here's my recommendations. First, you should buy Beyond Light for the Stasis subclass and the Deepstone Crypt raid. Second, it would have to be 30th anniversary for the Galahorn, the Grasp of Avius Dungeon and the Halo themed weapons. Next would have to be Witch Queen. It's a solid story, got some god tier exotics and the raid is pretty good too. Then the Forsaken pack, 
for free free exotics and the last push raid then shadow keep shadow keep has to be next just for wither horde which is a god tier gun i would have put shadow keep first just for wither horde but that is probably the only good thing about the expansion then the two dungeon keys as dungeons are pretty fun with the team and a fun solo challenge and lastly is lightfall for strand but if you want to follow the story then it's the forsaken pack shadow keep beyond light witch queen and then lightfall so my verdict on the entire thing about playing destiny 2 for free you can play it as an entirely free to play game but you'll eventually get bored as you're limited to just the main playlist activities and a couple of raids but it does give you a chance to know whether you like the game or not it's confusing how they throw story beats at you but if you can get past that you'll have a blast playing destiny if you came to this video to know whether you should try out destiny 2 my answer is yes give it a go it's a solid looter shooter with a money problem so that's a wrap for this video let me know down below if i missed anything consider hitting that subscribe button as it truly helps me out a lot and as always i will see you in the next video